all right everyone welcome back so today as we are standing on our new lovely boat that we made i uh had seen that they added new dogs to minecraft and i wanted to kind of check them out so that's going to be today's episode i don't know if we're going to build anything today so uh, it might just be a little bit of fun to walk around and check out what's going on with the new pups so uh that's my plan so we'll see what happens uh first things first though we should go to the skeleton farm and get some bones okay we have cows and all right i'm wondering if my resource pack has something to do with this no i can't believe this i i just logged into the creative world there is no way they haven't added this yet oh my gosh they haven't they actually haven't all right well uh this video was a total fail um we could always do something else though there is something i did want to take care of today all right, we're back on this version. I don't know what happened uh, to the other version, but uh, very obviously uh, the Insta mine is broken, which we simply cannot have for us because uh, that is a crucial part of my gameplay, especially with uh, my building tendencies. But I guess what we can do today, instead of the dogs, since they are not added, uh, we can go back to working in the city. All right, so this is the building I was talking about working on. So I'm pretty sure I know what I want to do here. So uh, let's just go ahead and build up some scaffolding and we'll work on the first layer, which I think is going to be this this uh, end stone here. So um, I believe we're just going to do a little something like this. I'm just going to fill in uh, the parts that I want to work on. This one is going to be... Um, just like this right here i just want to take a look at that from down here i think that's fine that's pretty okay and then what i wanted to do was transition from the red to this but i'm not sure if i'm going to keep it i would just like to see it first um but that was my intention take a look from down here that looks pretty good and then what i'm going to do is I'm going to have a three tall window on that layer and I am going to use bricks. So I don't have any clay, so we're going to need to take care of that. So let's get, I don't know exactly how it works, but if I am not mistaken, I think clay spawns in jungles and I know there's a jungle over here. Very short flight. It should be showing up any second now. Funny story. I used to have a really bad computer when I started this world. It was on an Intel i3, which is incredibly, incredibly slow. And so I used to think this distance, which took me about 30 seconds to fly over here, I used to think it was miles away from my house. <laughs> and now it's just like it doesn't even... It doesn't even phase me going over here with the beast of the computer I have these days. Uh, that looks like clay to me. Going mining for it. What? What are you doing? I just noticed that. What the? What? This is not your habitat. Let me tell you that right now. Why are you running from me? Come back. Dude, you are in the wrong habitat, man. <laughs> How did you get over here? You're supposed to be way over there, buddy. I just thought of the coolest enchantment ever while I'm digging up this clay. Imagine there was an enchantment that was like, you apply it to a shovel or a block or something and a block that needs to be smelted like clay automatically gets smelted by the tool when you mine it. So like, instead of fortune, right? You get multiple clay things. It's called like, I don't know what it would be called, but let's just say, for example, it's called heating. And what it would do is when you mine clay, it would automatically turn the clay into bricks when you mine it. I think that's pretty cool enchantment. All right, after that little excursion, we've got some bricks now. So I think I'm just gonna honestly stack up here like that. And then we'll go ahead and toss our bricks in. And I think I'm going to do three tall windows. What is going on with my keyboard? Okay, there we go. Um, so I think I'm just going to honestly like place them like that. I think. And then just do the three tall like this. Um, because I think that's going to look the best. Add some variation in there. And not have it be the same uh, repetitive pattern over and over again. So we end up uh, with something looking like so. 
there you go so that's what we got that's about what i was picturing for that building so uh we have another one in there uh let's get some andesite in for that so as you can see i did push this back one and that's just kind of add some like depth to the buildings i feel like if they were all on the same level you could, you can see these ones are all on the same level and it works fine because they're wildly different but with ones like this this isn't wildly different than this one right they're kind of the same shape if you will it's just this one's a little elongated and so i pushed it back one to kind of add some depth to the actual city so uh, we're gonna have to fill that in and then i think i'm gonna go back to this layer right here but uh, what i would like to do is fill in some windows which i grabbed right here and uh, i'm thinking we go dark and then light and then maybe clear up top so that would be dark and then we have light and then we have clear so we can add those into our inventory then get ready to place these in so uh dark down here like this i think that's the best look for it and then we'll go um actually you know what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna do clear in the middle here i think clear works better for the end stone and then i think we can do uh the white up top because the white seems to match the bricks very well usually when i build uh, i find that so uh, we can add the bricks in there so um now i've got another building completed there i would like to finish uh this one next um i think i'm gonna go i'm gonna repeat the same pattern i think i'm just gonna go up like three layers so that'll be our next task so yeah i like how that building turned out that looks uh quite nice and you have to remember that there's gonna be like kind of stuff blocking this off so you won't really like uh you won't really have these sight lines where you can see the back of the buildings um so i think i'm just gonna make them out of like stone and granite uh it's gonna be very simple so um that's another building done let's work on this one all right we obviously use uh the brick down here but i feel like this texture is uh pretty cool on the sides here so i feel like we could use this so what i'm gonna do is head up there and kind of use that as like a separation beam right because if we just use the same blocks over and over and over again it becomes very repetitive so i think if we just like go across like this uh that'll look quite nice and then we can start our windows so we did two here that seems to be our uh way that we did that so we can hop over here all right now that i'm actually paying attention to what i'm doing and i have my blocks ready we can get started here so uh this was a very simple way i built this so i just went over like this and i believe this is all sealed off here besides for that one as you can see there and then i did something like that and then uh this went across and then on this one um like that we did kind of the alternating pattern and then we go up two and then close it off like that and then we have to place our scaffolding in there like this because that's our window frame then we break out the dark oak trap doors and those went on the uh, bottom half and top half of the block as you can see there because that's kind of like our little uh our little window frame again so we use the scaffolding and the trap doors as a window frame and then uh, i used the white glass panes as like a i don't know window support type thing there as well so uh, i believe this just goes like this here so that should be another layer completed if we step down here oh no i went three to actually you know what i kind of like that it's different so it's a different height, but I didn't intentionally do that, but I think it actually looks better as a different height. And that's just all to add depth, right? We wanted to make it look a little bit more, uh, just a little bit more detailed, but not overly detailed. And I think uh, this is a cool way of doing that. Uh, but then we obviously added uh, the glass panes in here. So I think this one had like a weird thing like that, if I'm not mistaken so that wrapped all the way around and then these ones uh you can see how i've done that there i did kind of like uh something like this i think 
kind of making a weird little U-shaped pattern. And then I think they just all connect like that right there. So we have everything all connected now. And this can be closed off. And then when we hop down, we should have a fully functioning second floor. So uh, yeah, that looks quite nice. I'd say that's about what I was trying to do there. So another building somewhat completed. I think um, I'm just trying to see if we could go up another layer. I'm not sure, but I did talk about how I wanted to fill this in. So I think that's what I'm going to do next. I just don't know what color of block I'm going to use there. All right, so let's build up here. I'm kind of making this one on the fly. I didn't really have a plan for this building at all, but I saw these uh, blocks in my inventory and I think they could look cool. So if we strip these and then uh, place this here, we can do something like that. So three tall and then we'll place our black stained glass in there. And then uh, I was thinking what we could do actually is use uh, stairs in here to kind of give this some shape so we could place some stairs like this and uh, we'll have to do something like that there that should be fine and then we can place the strip wood again like that so then we kind of have like that cool little break up there and we'll we'll repeat the same thing down there and then we can just build up again like the following and then, uh, of course, we want to fill these windows in too, right? So we could fill those in. Cap off the roof. Do one of these. And then this will be our roof block right here. If I can place it down like that. And then we kind of have like this cool little uh, broken up building right here. I think we could use some trap doors as well. We've got a few different combinations we could try. I think the oak could work really well there. If we just head up here and just like connect this, like uh, this is always a little tricky. There we go. Um, I think that's kind of the best way to do that. So we'll just like pillar up and do the same thing up there. All right. So here's one major thing you're probably noticing with these buildings is how am I going to build the roofs and the backside of the building? So you can actually see how it's been done here, right? It's been separated by a stone wall and then we have another retaining wall back here. So I'm not gonna make the whole wall cobblestone, but um, it's also been done over here because most cities are actually like this. Behind the buildings, they pretty much don't have anything uh, behind them whatsoever. They're very ugly looking in the back. So they dress up the front. It's kind of like a hermit craft build. <laughs> they dress up the front. They make the front look really nice. And then the back is usually not completed or it's just kind of like a flat wall. So that's how I'm going to design most of this city. And I'm going to design all of the alleyways to be very ugly looking. Like there's just going to be a lot of trash and stuff and I don't know, ugly things back here. Whereas the front is going to be really nice and really well put together. So uh, that's my plan for this kind of whole area over here. But I would like to make some sort of a roof thing over here. So what I think I'm going to do is use polish deep slate. I think I have some in here. We can make some slabs out of that and then line the roof with it. All right. I actually think this is the way to go here. I'm going to place another row of blocks up here to have this to have something to uh, sit on. And then I think stone bricks is actually the best looking block, but I decided against using the slabs and I think I'm gonna use stairs because that just seems to be the best uh, block for this type of situation. And then uh, right here, I'm not gonna wrap it around. I'm actually gonna leave it flat. Like uh, you can see, I've done the same thing over here. And then um, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the top, but just for now, I'm going to place these as like a placeholder and then I might go up there and like actually finish that over time. And that'll be our roof that goes across there. But I think that's the best way to make a roof for a uh, somewhat city building like this. Uh, that's about what I was picturing, right? That's pretty good right there. Um, and so we'll kind of have to do that for all of these. So I need to go up there and add another layer for that. All right, this next building is a bit of an interesting one. I don't know how this is going to look, but I really want to try it. So uh, I'm going to use gravel here for the actual foundation. I think it's going to be uh, a three high start. So um, 
I just need to think about, uh, I definitely want to have one in there and then that's going to be one archway. So maybe something like that, maybe three. I feel like, I feel like three is a good number usually for that type of stuff. So, um, the way that it's going to be built in Minecraft is very different from the way it's built in real life. But I think that's a decent size for it. Uh, it's, it's much larger in real life, but I think uh, we have to kind of scale it down for Minecraft size, right? But uh, I am out of gravel. Hold on. All right, so this is now where it gets a little interesting, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but we have white terracotta along this uh, top layer here. So that's kind of like the first separation of the wall. And then there's kind of like this overhang here so i think what i'm gonna do is put it over here so we'll get rid of all of these blocks and then i'm gonna use jungle wood as the transition between the two and then we'll take these trap doors like this and that'll kind of be like uh that archway for it and then i'm gonna use uh tough blocks here as uh the overhang what did i just do there that was accidental but that could be huge actually if we do that right now i think if we just keep it in its original position of where it was supposed to be like that i think that's fine okay so very key part of this build it is going to droop back one block here so uh, we're going to do something like this i'm just going to place these at random here and then just whatever intervals doesn't really matter. Something like that. And then uh, I'm going to go back another block. Um, actually, no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. Okay. Uh, we're just going to place those there. And then we're going back one block only. So we go black. We go back one block here. And then uh, this layer is going to be... Um, just windows so uh i think they're only going to be one block like this so one and then one two is that what i did is that even we have two there two there and then one there yes it is okay so then um thinking about what to say so okay so now we have that layer so then i want to go up again uh, I am going to change the block palette up. I'm just doing this for now. Uh, I want to go up like this. And then this layer right here, this is what's going to have the arches on it. So we're going to go three, separate. So one, we want that first block right off the wall there. And then we want a three block gap and then we want to separate it. So now we have an even gap here. And that's why I brought these guys right here, this jungle wood. I think that's the closest block we're going to get to being able to make this work so one there and one there and then i'm going to place a temporary block and do that is that going to work i really don't know if that's the best way to do this but be the easiest thing but now we can hop down here and we can take a look at what we just made so um I would say that's pretty decent. That looks pretty good. And we can just place a temporary block so we can place our slabs. And then this will just be the roof of the building right here. We could just literally line this across like so. And uh, I wanted to overhang it one. So hopefully we have enough blocks to do that. Um, but I think that's an excellent way to make a roof for this building. And I think that's actually going to mesh quite nicely. Once we head down here, we can take a look at that. And that actually works really well. So now we just have to make some uh, windows down here. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just kinda um, place them in this middle. We have that, uh, that's gonna be annoying. I gotta grab that. <laughs> um, we have this middle space right here, right? We have this and that we can't do it on that side but we could definitely do one right here so i think what i'm going to do is just get rid of all those blocks and then i'm going to use stone bricks and just do something like that and then we could do another one um maybe right here is probably the best way to do it 
All right, so let's hop up here and replace that one. We'll fill it with glass in a second, um, and then we can go down here. Oh, I forgot to make more stone bricks. Whoops. I do have to say, uh, they really, really got to work on the inventory in this game. It is so hard to carry all the building blocks I want. It's very, very, very difficult. I would love if they were found a way to just optimize this. I could honestly just like six more slots would do for me if i could just keep six more things over here and two more down here it's just i feel way too restricted with the building i'm having to like run back and forth so much with these building blocks so uh anyways um this is what we got now i think we definitely need another window right there but we'll get to that um what i wanted to do was now uh, I wanted to make a door right behind this, so, um, don't know what block, I feel like this could actually be cool, this has a nice texture to it, quite like that, so, um, what I wanted to do was make a door now for this, uh, which was just doing something like that, and then going here with these trap doors, and just placing them like that, and so now this has, like, this nice little wood, uh, thing behind it. And for this build, I pretty much just about made up my mind when it comes to the color glass I want to use, which is 100% white stained glass. Uh, some iron bars on this block like that. I think that'll look cool, especially if we take glass panes and just line them across like this because those are going to connect to the iron bars. And so now... What just happened there? Oh, uh, when we go like that, we've got iron bars underneath there. And I think that blends in really nicely there. I would love to add another window in here, though. I think it absolutely needs it. So let's dig that out. I think I'm just going to take these guys like this. And I am just going to make a giant glass wall. I can't even reach that. I just realized and hop down here. Now you can see uh, it's got that arched overhang to it. So that really simulates what the building is actually like in real life. So um, I would say that's pretty good. That That's relatively close to what it actually looked like in real life. So I quite like that one, but I would love some more window frames of some sort. So I think I'm gonna make jungle wood and I think I might just put them like right there. All right, so I'm thinking that we just kind of put them like this, right? That'll give us a little bit of separation there and we only have three left and so uh an idea that occurred to me right at the end here was that we could just kind of like i would love if that piece was actually facing the other direction so we could just go like this and uh hopefully that looks good So I actually quite like that. This street kind of transformed today. We've got more buildings and I think that's going to be it for today. I just wanted to make uh, a few more things. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun with that one. So um, it's a shame we didn't get to work on the, uh, the new stuff uh, this time around, like with the dogs and whatnot. But this was a, a fun little substitute for that. So if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you to everyone who has done that. And I think that's about it for today. All right, before we end off today's video, I did just want to do our comment of the day, which comes from uh, William EQ7TL. So he said, uh, you have really upped your video quality game. You definitely sound more confident, which makes the video a lot more engaging. I think all you need now is maybe making the in-game settings brighter and thumbnails slash titles. Love the growth. Thank you for the comment, William. I did have to uh, shorten it up a little bit because it didn't uh, fit in the book. So there was something else in there that I had to cut out. But um, yeah, honestly, uh, nothing has really changed since the first video I made. I still make them the exact same way. But I wanted to talk about this because um, it's very important that I think I mentioned um, why my videos don't actually have any thumbnails at all. <laughs> because I... Um, if you were unaware, I think I've mentioned it in previous videos before, but I actually have multiple YouTube channels. So I have other YouTube channels that have done well. I don't want to share them for the exact reason of I just want this channel to be about Minecraft. I don't want it to include my personal life whatsoever. I don't want it to have anything to do with 
you know, who I am outside of Minecraft. So this channel is strictly focused on Minecraft building and that's it. I don't want any other stuff associated with the channel. And so that is why this um, channel doesn't have any thumbnails and the titles are very simple is because I'm not really so worried about the growth of this channel. Which kind of sounds weird for a Minecraft YouTuber, right? So someone who does this as a job now. Um, I'm not really all that focused on the growth of YouTube because that's just going to happen over time. It happens with any channel that's taken professionally is uh, the more you work on it, the more the algorithm is just going to push you out and people are going to find your channel and we welcome all the new people um, that come in. So uh, I'm not really too focused on you know, trying really hard to have um, these crazy thumbnails and these crazy titles is because that doesn't really match my video style, right? That's not really who I am. I think my videos are very honest and um, I intentionally try to make them that way uh, because I don't really have anything to hide, right? I just am playing Minecraft and I'm building stuff and I want my videos to represent that. And so that's why I don't make titles and thumbnails uh, very clickbaity or anything like that is because I just want it to keep it um, like I want the channel to be as genuine as possible. And I don't think there's anything more genuine than literally not having a thumbnail on the video and just having it be a, a keyframe or a shot from the actual, uh, video itself. So, uh, that's why I, I don't really make that stuff is because it's just, um, I'm not really trying to grab anyone's attention. I think that's the best way to explain it. I'm more than happy to have you guys watch the videos. I enjoy everyone that leaves um, the comments. I love reading through all of them, especially when we review them at the end of the video. But I'm not trying to uh, gain hundreds of thousands of subscribers or anything like that. I am totally content with whatever the number ends up being and however many people end up joining the channel and whatnot. And um, you know, it's already such a privilege to be at this number. And so I'm not really trying to chase a dream of becoming a 1 million subscriber YouTuber or anything like that. I'm just playing Minecraft and uploading it because I really enjoy doing it. And the fact that other people enjoy doing it is uh, awesome. And, you know, I'm very grateful for all the people that continue to watch the videos. So uh, in that sense, I think that's the best way to explain why I don't have a massive motive to continue trying everything I possibly can to grow the channel is because that's just going to be that's going to come naturally with YouTube. The more you upload videos, the more people will come in if the videos are good. So um, I've found a formula that works for me and that's unique to my style, I think. And I just want to keep it that way. Right. It, it feels and it, it's exactly what I talked about in the Hermitcraft video. It feels like this is kind of my style. I'm not really inspired by anyone when I make these videos. I don't have a formula that I follow that is like based off of somebody else or anything like that. I kind of just, this is who I am and this is what I would want to watch if I was a viewer. And so that's how I structure these videos. I just make whatever I would want to watch. And so I find that that's kind of hard to find on YouTube these days. And it's the whole reason I made this channel is because I know there's a lot of people out there who were looking for that type of similar thing and they couldn't find it because it was just non-existent. So that's why I made this channel is to try and be, I wouldn't say I'm the first person to have done that, but be one of the very few that is making videos in that style because it, it, it's very rare nowadays to have that. So that is uh, basically the reason why I haven't made thumbnails or crazy titles for my videos. I just literally take a picture of whatever I worked on that day, title it very, very basic to what I worked on that day. And that way the viewer knows exactly what they're getting when they click on the video. There's no clickbait whatsoever. There's no exaggeration of anything. They are getting exactly what they see. And uh, that, that's about it. So uh, yeah, thank you for the comment. Hopefully that clarifies um, my quote unquote method it's not really a method it's just kind of the way i make videos but hopefully that clarifies it and uh yeah i think that's about it thanks for watching guys